Hi everyone, welcome to our last Better Call Saul leak video ever. It's been a ride and we want to give a quick shout out to you guys for sticking with us. Let's get right into it. A couple of days before Waterworks premiered, an insider informed me that a major character would be returning via flashback. Of course, I took that with a grain of salt, but they also told me that the song The Tide Is High would play during a critical scene in 612, and spoiler alert, Gene sang that very song at the end of the last episode. All right, here's the moment y'all have been waiting for. The mystery character supposedly appearing in the finale is Mr. Chuck McGill himself. I myself am a huge fan of Chuck's character, and I think his appearance would be a great way to bring things full circle and illustrate how much Jimmy has really changed since the days when Chuck was in his life. Let's share some other leaks for the finale that we know so far. The following two images are stills from episode 13 entitled Saul Gone, and they show Gene wearing a hat as well as Kim standing in front of what looks to be the Central Florida Legal Aid Office. Note the palm trees outside. It looks like Kim will be returning to the law. Who knows, maybe she's going to defend Jimmy. Now, we know that Gene will attempt to disappear, and his trash Suzuki esteem from season 5 will reappear in this episode. Walt will also be appearing in this episode for his last scene ever. Maybe this will shed some more light into the time when he and Saul both had to wait in the disappearer's basement. Here's my guess. The reason why we see the esteem is because the cops are uncovering it in their search for wanted criminal Saul Goodman before he begins his new life as Gene Tackley. Another possibility is that the cops go there to verify Kim's affidavit or Gene heads there himself post 2010 while on the run from the feds. Now from the looks of it, it seems like a downer episode awaits us because Vince said, we all should keep a box of tissues handy when 613 premieres. In another interview, Bob Odekirk said that the nearly 100 minute long finale is a challenging way to go, lining up with Peter's comments that the ending is unlike anything we've ever seen before. Bob said it's focused on character development, and while there are a few guns, it's not flashy and more substantial. And the finale also includes thoughts that Bob hoped for years to see Jimmy have. As far as what those thoughts are, Bob elaborated in a more recent interview saying the following. He said that Jimmy has a high intelligence but never gets the chance to examine the reasons behind his own behavior until the finale. I, for one, will be glad to see Jimmy finally gain a sense of self-awareness. In my opinion, Jimmy does a lot of these scams because he wants love and admiration from people, especially Kim Wexler. Whether he'll end up receiving that love back is a mystery, though, and we'll find out next Monday. Let's switch gears and talk about some other leaks. As we stated before, the show will most likely end with the song Wildfire by Michael Martin Murphy. And one last leak, it looks like there will be a time skip of some sort as casting calls ask for cars from 2011 and older, and we're currently in late 2010 at this point in the Gene timeline. All right, that's all we got for this video. Are you guys excited for the finale? My hype is through the roof. What do y'all think Chuck's flashback will be? And what fate do you think awaits Gene? Let us know in the comments, and we'll respond. Till next time, see ya.